What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we are going to reveal the top 10 team affinities for Stage 2. These are all Future Stars cards, and these are the ones that are beast. The honorable mentions, we do have a couple honorable mentions. Uh, these are some very, very good cards. The first honorable mention that we have is Jorge Mateo. I think this is actually a pretty good card. A lot of speed, plays shortstop, not the best hitting stats in the world, but has 99 speed, good defense, switch hitter. It's going to be good against left-handed pitching. He's just an honorable mention, but this is definitely a, a solid card. Uh, just the 96-82, only has 66-69-62 vision, but he does have 99 speed, and you got to love 99 speed. That's always good, and he does have solid defense as well. So that's a that's a solid honorable mention we also have uh I believe luis garcia kind of of the same vein type of player this is actually a pretty good card has a secondary of third and shortstop as well 108 has 81 power with 90 vision has 64 speed not too bad he definitely comes in at an honorable mention so before we get into the top 10 the other thing that's pretty cool right now is the showdown uh we got two new showdowns Look at all the XP that you guys can get from this. We can get from this 3,000 XP for the first boss. This is a whole new wave of XP. This is a ton of XP that you can get from going through this showdown. Uh, just tons and tons of XP. This is going to be the best way to go after the cards as well. If you guys watched yesterday's prepping video also, if you guys watched yesterday's prepping video, look at the price of some of these gold cards now. They went absolutely through the roof as predicted uh, yesterday. They just went through the roof because people are still doing the exchanges. Look at Paddock. Paddock was 2000 yesterday. Now he's 4000 So if you guys made some investments yesterday, those are really going to pay off today. Um, I tried as fast as I can, as fast as I could to go ahead and get our number 10 selection done as quickly as I could to try to discover it. I thought I discovered it. I really thought I discovered it, but I still wasn't fast enough, but I do have Brady Stinger, my flashback reveal. I do have him and I'm going to put him at the number 10 spot. There's a lot of good cards in here, but I'm going to put him at the number 10 spot just because I know for a fact he's got a great motion. He's got the sink of the slurve and the changeup. I already he's got good control as well. Definitely a good pitcher to go after, in my opinion. Now, number nine was actually pretty difficult to decide on who it was. Um, a lot of these cards, you know, Alex uh Kirilov, he has good vision at 92. First baseman, decent defense. You know, he's got actually pretty good defense when you consider a first baseman. You know, he's got 101 and 88 with 92 vision, has a little bit lower versus left. So you could put him at nine if you wanted to. You could put uh, a variety of cards. You could put this Brandon Marsh, good hitting stats, a little bit lower vision, good fielding out in center field. Lots of these cards are very, very good right now to go after. Um, there's a lot of different options uh, to go after as well. You know, you got the, the Mount Castle above 80 with both sides, 86 vision. Uh, so there's a variety of cards that you could put at number nine. But let's go ahead and get into number eight. And at number eight, I have uh, Medina from the Phillies. Uh, there's a lot of good starting pitching in this. Uh, 87, 88 with a sinker, a slurve curve, <laughs> um, a, uh, a sweeping curve, I believe is what that is. A changeup, a four-seam fastball, and a slider. Just has a good per nines with the sinker as a primary pitch. Always something that we're looking for when we're evaluating cards. Uh, good speed differentials as well, especially on the changeup and the sweeping curve from the sinker. And he still has that slider. This is a good card right here in Medina. At number seven, we have a card that really reminds me of Roberto Alomar, but he's better than Roberto Alomar probably. 106, 92, 97 vision, which if you're getting up to Hall of Fame, and you're getting and playing legend games like I have. Vision is getting more and more important up there. Um, 6451 doesn't have the power, but he does have 97 vision, which is a lot in this game right now. 106, 92, 95 speed, good defense at second base, 89, 88 reaction. I have him coming in at our number seven spot. At our number six spot, I have the Atlanta Braves pitcher Kyle Wright. 
He is going to come in with a four seam, a slider, a curveball, a sinker, and a changeup. 93 96. If you guys really like Casey Mize and using Casey Mize, I definitely recommend going after this card. They kind of remind me of one another. Even though Mize has a little bit different of a pitch set, you know, he has like a splitter instead of a changeup, you know, stuff like that. But he does have the sinker in his arsenal. Um, I think Kyle Wright will come in at the number six spot. At the number five spot, we have a very, very good shortstop. This shortstop, I've been using Francisco Lindor at shortstop until I get to Barry Larkin. This shortstop is solid, though. 90, 92, 83, above 80 power-wise from both sides of the plate. Has 63 vision. Also has 88 fielding with an 89 arm and 84 speed. Can also play second base. He's also left-handed, which is nice. It's just nice to have like a lefty bat. You can never really have too many lefty bats in a way. So you can mix your order, you know, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, so this is a good card as well. Jazz Chisholm, 9092 is solid. I wish the vision was higher, but it's going to be, this would be a really good card on lower levels because he's very complete, has very good defense, good arm strength, and good speed. So a solid, solid card. We got Jazz Chisholm um, coming in at the number five spot. And number four, we have Nolan Jones of the Cleveland Indians. Uh, this was Fuzzy's reveal, I believe. 96, 106, 98, massive power, only 59 vision, which is about the same vision as Mike Trout. He has 79 fielding with a 95 arm over at third base, has 45 speed, can play in the outfield as well. I wouldn't recommend it, but he does have a lot of pop at 96, 106, and 98 when he's facing a lefty. So he's still got a lot of pop at the plate. He's going to come in at our number four spot. At our number three spot, we have um, we have another Nolan. We have Nolan Gorman, 102, 108, Oof, uh, 94, 81, 94, 66 vision. Serious, serious, serious pop. Left-handed bat at third base. Decent enough defense with the 79, 85, 55 speed as well. So he's not super slow. Lots of pop in that bat. 102, 108. Facing a right-handed pitcher is very, very lethal. That's very, very solid. So we're going to have Nolan Gorman at the number three spot. And the number two spot is a pitcher. And is a pitcher in the Reds organization here. Nick Lodolo, 97, 100. So he's got amazing per nines. He also has the sinker, the slider, and the changeup, which is very, very solid. Uh, you like to see this a lot. He's got the sinker, the slider, like I said. The changeup, beautiful pitches to combine with one another. Those are like probably my three favorite pitches. Um, I love the cutter as well. So the sinker, the slider, and the changeup all in use and with high per nines is going to be absolutely deadly. This card is at our number two spot. And at our number one spot, this should be no surprise, to be honest with you, our number one spot is going to go to Bruce Dar Greaterall. This might be the best pitcher in the game now, honestly. I, You know, you got Klubot, you've got a creative player. Um, I think this might be the best pitcher in the entire game now. 197 on the H for 9, K for 9 scale. 99 Velo with 92 break. He also has the... Uh, he has the outlier quirk as well as you guys can see in the bottom right. So he's going to be super effective. Sinker, slider, change up, curveball. I've already tested his motion. It's excellent. Um, that sinker is going to be absolute gas. I mean, it's going to be like a 99 mile an hour sinker. He has like an amazing fastball. It's over 100. He has a slider. He has a change up and a curveball. Good luck hitting this card on Legend. He's going to be an absolute problem. Even if you just brought him out of your bullpen as your closer. He's going to be an absolute problem. So that this, this card is 100% a must get. Like you must get this card from the Dodgers. That You, you need this card. You 100% need to get this card. No doubts about it. No ifs, ands, or buts. You need to go and get this card. We got the headliners packs, which I will be opening it up in the next video after this. We got Luis Patino, if I said that right, he has 105, 102. He throws a four seam, a slider, a change up to curveball. He's got extremely high per, per nines for a starting pitcher, so you like to see that. The change up is way, way slower than the fastball. So is the slider, really, and so is the curveball. So he's got a good mix of different uh, pitch speeds. I'm interested to see what his motion is going to be like. 
Uh, I think this is actually a pretty dang good headliner card. This is one of the better pitchers in the game, too. You could easily, I mean, there's very, very, very rare amounts of pitchers that have 105, 102. I know he just has the four seam of slider, the change up in the curveball, but he definitely has, um, he definitely has a, a good pitch at 90 below 94 break, uh, decent enough control, has 78 control. So we're definitely uh, hopefully going to pull him out of the pack. I don't know if anyone's – let's see if he's going for anything in the market right now. Uh, he's going for about 50K in the market right now. Dang, look at Cabrera. He really dropped. <laughs> I just noticed that as well. But that is my top 10 of the uh, Stage 2 Team Affinity cards. Make sure – I mean, dude, this – this uh, when we go to showdowns too, like – this the xp you're going to get from this is going to be ridiculous uh this is definitely going to be something you want to do the, the the xp is ridiculous i believe these games are on veteran as well so i don't know get after it today <laughs> the stage two team affinities are going to be lit i hope you guys uh had some gold cards that you invested in uh are in our next video so if you like this video in our next video we are going to open all five of these and i think i might even go in and buy 50 packs and the reason I might buy 50 packs today is because the market is so up and away. Like, it's going to be a good time to buy packs because if I pull a lot of gold cards, I'm going to be able to sell them back uh, for a, you know, a reasonable price, I'd imagine. Let's take a look at our gold cards. Like, the gold cards are way back up in price, so I should be able to sell them for a good amount. If we pull gold today, I imagine silver is probably the same way. Yes, it is uh, for the most part. A lot of those are back up closer to a thousand so it's kind of like we reset the market back to day one so thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the grind today and um i'll see you guys in the next pack opening video which shouldn't should be out i mean it's not going to take me that long to edit this one and then i'm going to put out i'm going to start recording the pack video like why i'm editing the other one so thank you guys so much for watching movie gaming tv i'll see you guys in the next video have a great one peace